Okay, so I've gone through a lot of the ways for the basic punch bare knuckle wise. What we're going to do now is explain about the kinetic punch, which is a whole new beast. So I tested all this on the uh, Strike Mate, now called the Power Cube, and the kinetic punch with the straighter shots was averaged 40% more power, the hooks averaged 30% more power. So Another thing about the kinetic punch is when you reduce the range, the power level shoots up compared with a boxing punch. A boxing punch is a long range punch. So if I'm throwing a boxing punch out and I'm twisting or I'm throwing a boxing punch out here, when I finish, it's only then that I drop down or I twist round onto the outside of the knuckle where I want to land. The kinetic punch can be landed from any position. If I'm throwing a kinetic punch, as soon as I throw it, my elbow comes up. So at short distance, medium, or even long range, it can be used. And the, the distance changes all the time. So why wouldn't you use a punch that could be thrown at any angle with much more power? So when we reduce the range to like 12 inches, the straighter shots have 67, the straightest shots, the kinetic punches at 12 inches have 67% more power than the boxing punch. The hooks at 12 inches are 112% more power. And when you even go down to six inches with a straight shot, so a six inch shot here, kinetically compared with a six inch boxing punch has 141% more power. And that just shows the versatile of the, of the kinetic punch, how, how versatile it is, because it can be landed at any distance and it's still extremely powerful. So the other thing with the kinetic punch, if I throw a, a standard punch, whenever I am, I'm going to use a shoulder roll. That's what most boxers use to read a punch being thrown. If you want to uh, fake a shot or feint it, then a lot of the time you'll pop your hand out or you'll do a shoulder roll and people will think you're going to throw the shot. Now that's how people read and counter punches. With a kinetic punch, there is no shoulder roll, which also makes it quicker. So with a standard punch, whenever I am, if I'm going to throw it, because it's swung, I've got to pull it back to swing it in. So I'll get this roll and the shoulder will roll. With a kinetic punch, I'm driving straight in. So it's a straight movement. Now, the wrist position and the shoulder. Two things that people have problems with, with a boxing punch across the board, is A, the wrist position, and B, hurting the shoulder. I know a lot of old boxers who have real problems with the shoulders at the front here. Now, if you hit really hard with a boxing punch, you will develop issues in your shoulder. You will also develop issues with your wrist because it's not in the strongest position. With the kinetic punch, that's a standard boxing punch. The kinetic punch is positioned like that. Standard boxing, either horizontal or vertical, kinetic punch is positioned like this. So I'm landing on a different part of the knuckle, lining up the arm. That's what makes the biggest difference, is the, the change in kinetic chain. You're filling in the kinetic chain between your shoulder and your knuckle that's lost with a swing. With the drive, that gives it 40% because it connects the shoulder to the knuckle and you don't lose all the power out the elbow like you do with a boxing punch. So when we look at Boxers that are using the punch, I've only ever seen one. And does it show any advantage? So the one boxer I've seen using this punch is Gennady Golovkin. Now, a lot of people talk about how much energy he has and how he can keep going. And a lot of the time there's there's a lot of natural things going on. Just the way they're the way they're born. But technique also makes it a massive difference and Gennady Golovkin is using a, cr a mix between the standard punch and the kinetic punch he gets extra angles there's more angles available there's more power available you use significantly less energy 
so it's a win-win across the board. I'm going to be starting travelling to a few different gyms and just doing my demonstration and, and show it them and I'm looking for a gym or two to take this on and I'm just going to focus on them places. I've got a bad back now, I can't do a lot. so. But I really want to get this out there because it's it's the thing is with the power cube is it takes a lot of working out. I'd already worked it out. <laughs> I'd been playing with the punch for years. So once I got on the power cube, I could test the different distances and the different powers. And it was just there, it's fixed, it's solid science. You cannot deny that it's a more powerful punch. So back to the wrist position, um, I explained about the shoulder, now the wrist position, the standard wrist position is like this, horizontal or vertical. Now what happens is, if I move my hand from this standard boxing position, if I move my hand back, I instantly stop there. Now with a kinetic position, if I move my hand back there's much more movement. This means if you make a mistake, you don't hurt your wrist. Basically, it's much stronger. When I was punching boxing style with a boxing punch, if I made a mistake, I literally had to wait weeks before I could punch again because my wrist was hurt. It's been strained. Now, when I went to the kinetic punch, I've never hurt my wrist once with the kinetic punch. The guy that taught me worked the doors for 27 years. He never hurt his, hist his wrist once punching anybody. Now what does that tell you about the, and that was bare knuckle, what does that tell you? All the evidence is there to see. It's just a question of getting in touch with me and letting me show you. <laughs>